So welcome to episode 11 on the Horse Knowledge Blueprint. I'm your host, Kay Dobson, and today we're talking about presence. Speaking of which, give me one second. Oh, sorry. Anyway, back to presence. So welcome back to episode 11. This is part of our four slash five part series on, I guess you would say the horse whisperer blueprint or the essentials for connecting with horses, uh, all the tools, bells and whistles to get a better, deeper connection with your horse. So in this series, we're talking about intention, presence, feedback, and closure. Those are the four core pillars or foundational setting for building an awesome connection with your horse or a horse, um, depending on your situation. Today, we're talking about presence. And as I amply demonstrated at the beginning, one of our biggest killers of presence is this thing right here. Our lovely little phone, which is now kind of our best friend at this point. We're always on it. We're always using it to take selfies. We're always using it to take videos, checking our stats online, checking our Instagram, checking our status on Facebook. Um, And this, believe it or not, is one of our great divides with our horses. So today we're going to be talking about how to accomplish more presence with our horse. So the cool thing about horses is horses are always present. They have to be. They're survival animals. They are created to survive. They have to survive every situation, which means they have to be always aware of their surroundings. They always have to be present. So a human being is present, but we are distracted, like I said, by things like this. So how do we eliminate distraction and create presence with our horse? So first thing, like I just said, put this thing somewhere else. You don't have to keep it on you. You will survive. If you do a training session for 10 minutes with your horse, this being away from you is not going to kill you. So I would suggest putting it somewhere that you can access it if there's an emergency, but that you don't need it attached to your hip. And a horse will recognize if you're distracted. My horse, Harley, likes to give me a little nip reminder if I'm on my phone. He likes to either nip at the phone or nip at my shoulder to get me back focused on him. So maybe your horse does the same thing. Thing that we need to do to create presence with our horse is we have to eliminate distractions. So number one, let's eliminate those distractions. Let's put away our phone. If there are people around us, if we can get in an area where it's just us and our horse, that's ideal. Obviously, if you have kids or if you have people that are with you, it's hard to eliminate them as a distraction, but maybe just make it clear that you want to establish presence and create that boundary of, I need fully to lock into my horse and just establish that you really want to create presence with your horse. So number one is removing any distraction humanly possible. Number two, practice being present in all five senses. So your whatever you're tasting, which I don't know what you would taste unless you're having a snack with your horse, but your sight, touch, smell, and sound, right? So four out of the five senses anyway. So the way that we can be present in our senses is just observing, right? So uh, what does it smell like outside? You know, what um, are you seeing? You're seeing your horse. What else are you seeing? Your surroundings, right? Touch. What are you touching? Are you holding the lead rope? Are you touching your horse? Are you petting your horse? Are you showing affection to your horse? These are things that can help us to get present, you know, using all of our senses and remembering to initiate those senses and and to really connect with what each of those senses jobs are i guess you could say and and how each of those senses can really help you to stand firmly in in the presence that you're trying to create with your horse we use those senses anyway to identify where we are and where we stand and who we're with the senses definitely can help us with identifying presence and helping us with presence what does presence feel like in your body. Your mind should be silent. Distractions are away from you. It's just you and your horse, the place where nothing else matters. 
When you feel present, your movement is light, your movement is slow, and your movement is intentional. When we're present, we're more methodical, right? We're more thoughtful of the things that we're doing, our next steps. We're very aware of whatever we need to do, especially in a training session. So when you're present, what's your breathing like? Is it fast? Is it rapid? Or is it slow? Is it focused? Is it regular? When you're present, are your thoughts constant or are your thoughts quieted? These are some things that can help you pinpoint whether or not you're present. Something to keep in mind when trying to be present or trying to focus on presence is when you're in your head, you're dead. So you don't want to think too much about am I present and freak out about any little nuance that might be throwing you off track. Presence is super, super natural for us when we are not distracted. It's living in the moment, being in the moment, not thinking about what you have to do next, not thinking about what has just passed. It's literally just being with your horse, looking at your horse, observing everything that's going on around you, being aware, not distracted. Awareness and distraction are two different things. That is what is cr going to create the best um, presence for you. So I have an exercise for you to try. Schedule a time to be present with your horse with no distractions. Give your horse your full attention. I want you to write down what you experience in the comments below. Let me know what this session was like practicing presence with your horse. Write down what you experienced and also write down what you think your horse experienced of you. Maybe you had a better session. Maybe you had a better training. Another thing to remember is you can't create presence without being focused. So you want to be fully focused on what you're doing. Like we discussed last week, we talked about intention, having a plan, having an aim, having something to focus on. So having that intention of what you want to do and then being in that moment and living in that moment without any distractions. Another question I want to ask you is, what do you feel like when someone or something is present with you, what are you feeling in your body? What are you experiencing? When you are fully present, what are the things that you're experiencing in your mind, in your body, in the present? What are you experiencing? And like I said, I would love to hear any experiences you have when you focus presence with your horse. I'm thinking that it's going to take you to a different level. If you are fully present, your phone's away from you, people are away from you, and it's just you and your horse. If you can create that kind of an atmosphere, awesome. I really think that you're going to experience some awesome things. So in closing, make sure that if you want to practice presence with your horse, put this thing somewhere where it's easy to access, but it's not right next to you. I know it's hard to live without this thing because it's like our best friend and we just love it so much, but we can survive. So put this thing away. Focus on the moment. Be in the moment. Don't think about anything that you have to do after you hang out with your horse. Don't think about anything that has happened before. Just be in the moment. Stay in the moment. And I know this is going to be a game changer for you. It has for me. And it has made riding more enjoyable. It has made time with my horse more enjoyable. And I think my horse has appreciated me even more when I'm present. And I think safety is also another key to all this. Is When you're present, you're fully aware of things going around going on near you and it keeps you safe it keeps your horse safe and it's just better for the both of you so guys that wraps up episode 11 on presence i hope this was helpful to you be sure to write in the comments what your experience is when you practice presence with your horse i would love to get some feedback on how your next training session went with your horse as you practice presence and also um, just a reminder if you go to kdobson.com four dash secrets. I am uh, giving away a free guide that will help you kind of keep track of all these lessons in the series on being better at horse whispering skills and building your connection with your horse. And you can find that guide, which is free at www.kdobson.com dash four dash secrets and download that free guide. Um, but anyway, thank you guys for tuning in and really appreciate your feedback and your views and all that stuff. If you haven't, please hit the subscribe button below. It doesn't mean that you're signing up to pay for anything. All it means is that you're subscribed to the channel and that any videos that pop up 
you will be notified, especially if you hit that bell. So hit that subscribe button. Um, if you did like this video, hit that like button for the algorithm and that way we can bring more value to more horse people or people that love horses um, and educate them further. And once again, thanks again for watching and I'll see you next time.